Okay, so Neil is here. He's gonna show us a tool called Flippity. Um, so I'm gonna hand this right over to Neil, go for it. Hey everyone. So I'm basically it's flippity dot. Let me see. It's just flippity dot net. It's a site, and it what it has is. Let's see here. It has some. Let's see if I can get this into percent mood. So are you just going to go to flippity dot net on your browser? You can bookmark it once you go there once. Um, It's a free tool that somebody, uh, I believe they're from New York City, uh, created this. It's been around for a little while, but it's real simple to use. Um, and there's a lot of different tools that are available. I recently used this with my my daughter's third grade teacher to for her spelling test. So I was just going to demonstrate this one here, this uh, spelling words. Um, and you can see in all the different uh, options he, they have here, you know, there's flip flashcards, there's a quiz show. This is a popular one I've shared with some people. They like to have the spin wheel and things like that. Um, they're all web based. Uh, you know, it's all integrated with your Google account. Uh, and it's very simple. Uh, I think for anyone to just, uh, you go through the instructions, you can check out a demo. Uh, I believe you can use this even if you don't have a Google account, if you wanted to put it out there on the web and have somebody go to it, you just send them the link and. Uh, they can go right to it. So I was going to just show you. So this one's kind of fun too. Here, this flippity with words. You can type in a bunch of words, and it'll come out in different, uh, you know, prints and things. Um, you see here, so. So what I was just going to show you, I, and I'm always kind of drawn to this timeline one. I think that could be something that could, you know, even older students could benefit from having uh, something like that. So I'm just going to demo this uh, spelling words. So basically, I'll just start by showing you the uh, instructions here so we can see that. And you guys could go to the same link if you want to go look at it or, and start clicking things. Um, so it just starts with basically you modify the Google spreadsheet template. So you're just grabbing a copy of this template here. Um, it helps to be signed into your uh, your GRCSU Google account when you're doing this. Uh, you want it to all go into your Google Drive. Um, and it's pretty self-explanatory. You just go on the list, you edit the student names. You know, you add lists of words for each of the students. Um, you can change this over time. You really just kind of got to use it to see how you'd want to make it work for you if it's something you can use. Uh, we I tested this with the teacher, which is why I'm I'm demoing this one, and I know everything that we tested worked and it was successful with uh, us and the student as a teacher and a student, and uh, there were no problems. It was easy for the students. Her class has been using this for about a week now, and uh, there's a lot of additional things that you'll see that are attached to this. Um, that help the students practice for a spelling test. And then at the end, the teacher through Google Classroom uh, sends them the link to take the test. There's a test link uh, built into this that you get, and it will send the results in an email to uh, the teacher, and you can set it up to send it to the student as well, I believe. So that's, that's something I'm not 100% sure on, but that's something you can try out. Uh, so basically, you're just going to grab a template. It'll force you to make the copy. So when you click this here, it'll force you to make the copy. So it'll direct you to save that in your. Neil, um, I think you're. Sh we're not. You didn't share it in a way that we can see the pop up. So we're not seeing. What you're oh, I wasn't. Now. I was just going to have you. When you click the get template, it'll it'll pop up. Yeah, we don't see that. We just we don't see where you are in the temp. Are you? Did you click the? Oh, you're not at the link. No. You, you want to go. Yeah, you want to. You'll want to open up another tab and just go to the link yourself. Flippity.net. Right, but are you demonstrating it. it right now? I'm just saying we can't see it. If you're done, I was just displaying the instructions. Oh, okay. But here, I can throw this in here. So 
So you can go to that link I just I just dumped into the uh, chat. You open that up, and then you're just basically going to click the template, grab a copy of the template. That's where it'll you'll see the pop up uh, to make a copy into your drive. So you should you should end up with something like this. It should look like this here. Pretty much a. Uh, are you seeing my screen now? My tab. Yep. 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 We see it now. So when you get a when you get a copy of it, it should be labeled copy of flippity.net spelling words template. You can actually go in and rename it at this point to whatever you want to name it because this is your copy. Okay. And it's and again, like I was saying, it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you look at this spreadsheet. I mean, you can easily see how simple it really is. There's one little thing I wanted to show you um, when you when you build your list. So obviously, you would put your student names in here. You know, I just go ahead and just you could throw their names in. So, and on the second line, you can enter the email address for the results of the test. So after they take the test. Uh, an email directly to whatever the email address is in there. I have not tried it with two email addresses, um, but I'm I, I can't see why it wouldn't work. But if anything, if the teacher wants to just put their email address in there, then the email will get automatically sent to them uh, for each student. They could then, uh, you could then print that as a PDF if you wanted and throw it into their uh, portfolio or your or your log. log work log, what, I don't know what you're keeping for the students necessarily, but you could save that file as, as, a, as a PDF as just a result of their test. Um, or you could come up with other ways. This is just the way that I've done it. So, so the words go in the list here. So each student gets assigned you know, a list of words and they don't have to necessarily be the same, but if all the students in your class are having the same spelling list for the for the uh, week or something, then you could just copy them into the each uh, column for each student. And I'll show you why this, how, you, you'll see why this, how this works uh, after you enter in all the information here. And if you notice right here, there's a little, it has the word and then uh, quotations with a little, uh, it's pretty much just a sentence. So there is audio. So when you when the student goes and they are practicing the word, one option is for them to click the example sentence. So this would actually be the example sentence it would read out loud to them to hear the word in use. So it's very, uh, it works great. It uses the, the built-in uh, voice that some students say they're not too excited about it, but it, it works. It, you know, it, it puts it into a sentence and it helps them, uh, you know, learn the word. I've used it with my daughter. I think it's it's been very helpful. Um, so if you wanted that, you'd probably want to do that for each word, in my opinion, is have a little sample sentence for them. And what's kind of neat is you can actually give each student um, customized sentences uh, in their in their words. So if one, you know, you could make fun for them. So that I really liked about this is that it's very customizable. Um, I'm not trying to make more work, but you can make it fun. <laughs> So once you have everything in there, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I try to keep it short. Uh, on your template in this in this tab down here is where you're going to get the link. But you have there's an important part before you this will work. You need to publish the spreadsheet. So you just click that publish to the web. You, you don't really need to change anything. I didn't change anything. I just clicked publish. Say okay. Takes a second. There's now. There's your link. So this is the link. Um, that I just copy.
Oh, I shared the wrong tab, sorry. Trying to get the right tab up here, I got too many going. So once you publish it, you can copy that link there. And then you end up with page that when they click the link, you end up, so all the names show up here. So you have the students just click their name on the list and there's the, the words. And so there's additional tools built right into it after you make this uh, spreadsheet. You know, there's the list, and this is where you would click it, and there would be sound with the example sentence. And, you know, it would have all the words that you had on the list. I like that it's clean. There's not a lot. There's no advertising or anything like that. It's just there's a practice section where it will read it out loud, and then you have to type it in. There's a quiz that does pretty much the same thing. And, and then on the more tab, uh, my daughter had a lot of fun with this where she, you know, she was doing the matching game and anything, any of these that you click creates one of it's, it just automatically creates a, a little bit of a game or an exercise or some kind of an activity with the words. So there's nothing more to do other than create this spreadsheet and you have all these different little activities and things built into it. So I think this is like hangman or something. So I'm, so I think you just guess. I got it right. Yeah, so I guess if you get it wrong, it starts to melt. You know, so it's just little fun activities for the kids. This is obviously more, this kind of a activity is more for an elementary, uh, I, I think. I don't think that the, uh, but it could be useful for anything. It doesn't have to be a spelling test. You might be able to figure out a way to, you know, use that. Um, so you can just click on any of them and, and just, you know, use those tools for the students. They, they pretty much figured it out on their own. Teacher sent the link. They went on, click, click their link, uh, to their name and, uh, they were off to the races. So they had their first test today. So I'm going to, I don't know how I'm guessing everything turned out. Okay. So I'll find out, uh, later this afternoon, I'm sure if everything worked out, but the instructions here are pretty much dead on. Um, there's nothing for me to even add and tell you other than, you know, it's it's pretty simple to do. And I think it's something that uh, I think it's something that can be useful. Um, and again, there, there there's the variety of tools on there is also pretty. Uh, it's fun actually just to go mess with them, you know. There's, there's just so many things on there that you can fool around with and you might find something that could be useful. You, you, you know, no matter what the class is, might be able to uh, find a tool in there that you can utilize in uh, science. I see Alina was here. So, um, but the spelling test is the one I've seen used. It works. No problems as, as far as I'm aware. So I don't know if anyone has any questions, comments. Oh, Barb has one here. So this looks like to be a great resource for ELA. Do you know if there are any math activities that teachers have used? I know I've shared this out with quite a few teachers, but haven't really heard uh, if they've used it or not. A couple of them, you, I know some of them use the spin wheel during their meetings uh, if they were doing some kind of an activity. So they'll, you know, so the, the student might be looking at the wheel and spinning for something while they're working on something and. Um, but no, I haven't, I, I'm actually going to use the flashcards. I'm going to, it's the very first thing on that list of apps or tools. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to do the flashcards with my daughter, the, the times table. So we're going to use that for that. It looks pretty simple to set up as well. Yeah, it's probably, and I didn't, we didn't, we haven't run into any, 
yeah, there haven't been any kind of roadblocks that I've I've seen with any of this stuff, which is one of the reasons why it, it was a something I thought would be useful. Uh, cool, and it's free. We love free. Yeah, it's free. free. And He's it's actually this guy who did this was somebody who uh, helped with that G class folders back in the day. Cool. Anybody else have any questions? And if you do, you can type it or you can unmute yourself. Alina says, these look fun. I'm exploring some of the demos. Yeah, you can go straight into, if you go to flippity.net, I was kind of clicking around while, you know, um, and if you just click on the demo button first, you can see how it works before you go into like building the um, your spreadsheet with it, which is kind of cool. This is, that that that's that flippity.net is absolutely designed for teachers. Like it is just, it's very, you know, you just look at it, boom, boom, boom. There's the demo, the template, the instructions, everything's right there. And when you open the template, everything's in there too. So uh, remember there's those tabs at the bottom uh, for the spelling test, make sure you publish it. Just follow the instructions that are with any of those uh, activities and you should be fine. If you run into problems, reach out to Erica, myself, any anyone in the tech side of things, you can get a big or probably help and yeah. share it with other, other people. You know, you can you know share, let them know. Another another tool toolbox. So no, I think that it's okay for the students to use as well if they want to have fun with the words or something. You know, if you give them a so that's true. They could generate um, their own kind of games for their classmates. It'd be kind of fun. Neil, thank you so much. This was a great little tool I didn't even know about. Um, I'm gonna be clicking around in there later today. I think. So if if people have questions, I'm sure Neil would be okay if they reached out to you. Yeah, no problem. Cool. I really appreciate it. Um, all right, guys. So that is today's Lunch and Learn. And I hope you guys enjoy the afternoon. It looks sunny out still. So I hope you have some time to go outside. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks, Neil. All right. Thanks. See ya. Hey, Erica. Yeah. Mike. I have a, hey, I have a question. It has nothing to do. And Neil, while well, you're both on, it, had nothing, it has nothing to do with what you just did. Whenever I go on my meets from now on, it's happened for the last